everybody. What is up? It's Hunter here, and welcome to Coffin Counseling. Uh, well, I, I barely know about this. It, it kind of gave me an Undertale feel, and uh, basically, I just know that like you're 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 this guy, and you could do like this move, and it's like it's like VVV, but not VVV. I was like, holy shit, my hopeless music is fucking loud. Yeah, okay. Daddy's back. Daddy, Daddy's here. Oh, wait, no. Daddy hasn't started the game yet. He's a little inept. Hang on. Hey, you. Lord Dracula is feeling depressed and need his therapist. Oh, oh, shit. Don't, don't fuck. <laughs> now everyone is feeling down and no one is terrorizing the country. You were chosen as the new therapist for the Lord. Get on it. Oh, but what if I don't? I don't want to get eaten. I mean, he probably he probably sucks pretty good, but I don't know. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready for this. Okay, I just shut up. Shut up. You're a nobody. You're a brain in a jar. Shut the fuck up. Oh, oh, you're beautiful. Oh, fuck, you're beautiful. Hang on. Hello, me lady. Let me tip my head. Oh my god, I'm so depressed. I just can't take it. A sure mas a sure masculinity compliment flexibility point out stench. Uh, compliment flexibility. You think so? I don't feel very flexible anymore, hey man. I see you. I see you. <laughs> look, look at the way you move those arms. I bet you you could fist a horse and they feel it. I just wish there was more to life than work. I mean, there is. Uh, hobbies. You're right. I always wanted to try emasculation. <laughs> Thanks. I feel better now. Oh, okay. Cool. Cool beans, dude. Do your thing. Also, guys, you probably like, oh, wow, you sound very, very not, not like in the groove, man. Like, you're always so loud. Well, guys, I'm trying something. I'm trying something new. I'm trying to be relaxed and not yelly, yelly, yelly in your face, you know? Nobody understands me. I just want to roll up stuff and I just want to roll. Oh, it's the Kam Kamari guy. He, he, he rolls up like shit into balls. He's like dung beetles. And hurl them into space. Is that so much to ask? Hmm. Nah, nah, G. That's just the that's just the right amount to ask. Okay, I guess we can go up. Holy shit, man. Oh, oh man. There's so much counseling to do. Hang on. Hello. This is my hole. <laughs> hey man, let me get me that hole. I live in here. I found this hole one day and decided to live in here. The mortgage is killing me. What can you do? It's part of being an adult, you know, paying the bills. Yeah, I know, man. It's hard. It's rough. We gotta fill those holes. Am I right? I'm right. <laughs> Doctor says my cholesterol is too high. That's what it. Oh fuck! Damn it! I'll change my eating habits. And I'll be healthy. I can do it. Yeah, you can, man. Don't even know why I said. I'm just hoping that I said something positive. I'm a game developer, but I think my game's going to be shit, dude. <laughs> Ooh, relatable. <laughs> uh, deadline, team's fault. Game's content. It's random encounters with weird people to solve their problems. Should I even try to finish this? Is it even worth the time? Experience and joy. It'll be a great promo. Experience and joy. You're right. I don't want to work. T I want to want my work to disappear in a drawer. Time to get back to work and finish this. By the way, inspiration for you. Because I, I know exactly how this little little weird blob feels. But if you ever doubt your work or if you look at it and you're like, eh, I don't know if it's going to be good, whether it's video content or what, whatever you're making. You have to understand that no matter what, no one can make the same exact thing that you're making. Like, yeah, individuals make fan games and you, you can look on fucking mobile stores and see how many fucking rip off games there are of certain games like Cuphead or even uh I think Fortnite and probably PUBG has shit like that and fucking FNAF for sure but you have to understand that no one's ever going to come close to whatever ideas goes into the game like they they can copy those ideas right but they will never copy the mentality or have that mentality that you had while making the game or making whatever project you're making like, no matter what, that, to me, that's a big encouragement, because that makes me realize that, you know, 
okay, like for example, if I have a game or if I have an idea, I originally wanted it to be carried out and no one else will carry that idea out. Yeah, they'll make similar ideas, but that's about it. Create your own vision, man. And I'm sure it's going to be lovely. And even if it's not so... <laughs> Broccoli, eat me, eat me. <laughs> eat the booty, eat the booty. No. <laughs> Yeah, just just do your thing and just enjoy yourself and gain that experience, man. It'll help a lot. Come and see, come and see, a most terrifying creature from the depths of the woods. Terror beyond compare. It's, oh, it's big. Oh, God, you're thick, honey. Look at that body. I ate too much, but I still feel empty inside. I do this for every meal. I just sort of lose track of how much I have already eaten and hate myself afterwards. Am I overeating to forget my worries? Or is the food just really, really good? I also really wish that guy over there would stop calling me a terror beyond compare. Uh, just rude. <laughs> come and see, come and see. This fat fuck- oh no. <laughs> He's eating a lot of people. Hello. Oh, you look like you're gonna flash me in a second. Please don't. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Wow, you got some great tips. <laughs> I used to be religious, but lately. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Oh, man. So, so, so were you, were you in the Catholic Church or? <laughs> no. Oh, god. That's terrible. And by the time this, oh man, I just dated this video so hard. Fuck. I used to be super religious, but lately, I'm having serious doubts. When I was young, my whole life was oriented around my faith. When I look at the state of the world, I just can't convince myself anymore that this is all Satan's plan. Oh, oh, oh no. Don't, don't say that. I might have to kill you. You kind of look like you're straight out of Undertale. Hello. Woof. Woof, 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 woof. Oh, you, let, me, let me give you a scratch with my dick. Okay, no. Uh, hello. You kind of look like a... Uh, like a hairball. Maybe like those... Have you guys ever seen those Mucinex D commercials where they have the germs? They look exactly like him. <laughs> don't use Mucinex XD. If you don't know what that is, it's like a... It's an American commercial. I'm pretty sure it's probably shown in Europe as well. It's an American commercial where there's like... It's like for colds and runny nose and like or stuffy noses i think and you take it and then there's like these germs haunting people and then when you take mucinex 60 they go away they're like no you can't take me away no what was that up there excuse me i'm trying to do a thing here could you please leave oh oh you want to kill no no i got to i gotta save them i'm a therapist don't do this don't do this there's so much you, we can do live for i don't okay i'm gonna go before because that that's a slippery slope dog that's a slippery topic oh my god these things holy fuck this is like this is like the nazi scientists just glued together three babies holy shit we where where wait hold on we are very close to a major scientific breakthrough. You are delaying science by wasting our time. Please don't talk to me or my brothers ever again. Okay, go eat your chow food over there, you fucking... You, just, you fuck, I'll fuck you babies. What? <laughs> Came up the wrong way, but intentionally. <laughs> Hello. I'm trying to do my job, but no one showed up for today's execution. But not a good show is pointless when there's no audience to watch. Me, give my best. <laughs> I used to be so nervous before my shows when I started out. Shows used to be full and people were <laughs> full of cum. And people were expecting to entertain. It was my responsibility. Now barely anyone comes to my shows anymore. I feel like no one appreciates my work. But then again, I do not do it for them. This is art. Oh, God. I do it to express myself. He's a true artist. True art doesn't need an audience. Yes, after all, it's art for the sake of art. That truly makes me happy. Ha ha ha. It'd be nice. Nice earn some money, though. Yo. Oh, you didn't... You lost control at the end. 
So are you like a sack? Oh no, that's your head. Oh, that's like, you're like a J Jack the Pumpkin King or fucking fucking the headless horseman. Oh, <laughs> fucking the headless horseman. Will do. Oh, whoa! I flew. I flew for a second. Holy shit! Hello, big guy. Oh, <laughs> been working out or hardly working? Hello. Oh shit! Oh thanks. Cough. What do we? Allude to sexiness. Huh? Don't make fun of me. Uh, offer a vial of blood. I don't know. This this could go down a slippery slope. He can he can start biting my neck and then you know mm, then then put his fangs in me and then put something else in me. Mention politics. <sighs> oh, you don't want to talk about? Oh no no fuck! I don't even know. Uh, <laughs> invite on a date, huh? Um. Oh, never mind. Praise Lord Dracula. Yes, you better praise him. Praise, praise God, praise our Lord. Oh, oh hey, baby. Oh, you kind of look a little preggers over there. Oh, it, oh it, is that like claw hands or that's claws hands? My skeleton boyfriend has been getting. <laughs> oh, fuck. I read ahead and. <laughs> I already got too entertained. And I already came in pants. <laughs> I don't know, I'm trying, I'm a little bit of a nice skeleton boyfriend has trouble getting a boner. <laughs> what can I do? Oh, oh, oh. That should give him a nice, a studious solidification. No problem, babe. Hit me up if his boner doesn't get up. We can cock him together. <laughs> hey, you. Yes, you. What do you come here? Don't be afraid. My bug is worse than my bike. <laughs> I just want to talk. I'm selling out of stuff out of my trunk. <laughs> That's pretty, that's pretty fucking funny. I see what the developers did there. You know what? I slap you two on the ass. There's, I think there's like two, maybe four people that makes this game. I, sl I slap you all on the ass for making such a funny joke. Or maybe the writer just instead hit me up, babe. Man babe, babe, cat babe, Apache helicopter babe. I don't know what kind of babe you are, but you're, you're my babe now. <laughs> I'm selling out stuff from my truck, but I don't want much, so... Maybe I have to branch. Oh my fucking god. Oh. <laughs> okay, now, at first it was a compliment. Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab one of those branches and stick it up your ass. <laughs> Do you have any ideas? Cause I'm... <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Cause I'm fucked. Cause I'm stumped. Let me check my lock. Fuck you! Fuck you! Stem cell stocks. And I had wood, but that didn't go well. Wait, why are you leaving? Is it too late? Oh, wood night. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> that was the worst. Hello. room fuck these people no no don't don't tell me again i hate your jokes they're giving me aids i am i am contracting aids i have aids help have hey, fuck uh give me give me out of there give me far away far away hello babe nobody follows me on splatter I don't want to be unpopular. Uh, <laughs> uh, personal torment. I mean, you'll get some. You personal torment. You'll get some feminist points, so you might do that. Witty banter. You'll probably end up like John Gunn and get fired. Uh, werewolf picks. You'll get the furry community, which my parents. <laughs> hey, call me. Uh, and put that knot in me. <laughs> Uh, you know, you know what I'm talking about. 
Uh, but what is it? I think personal torment. Oh, I get plenty of that. Would you follow me on Twitter? Uh, I don't use it if you follow me too. <laughs> what a scummy response. I want to pick it, but I'll just say, of course. Awesome. You're my seventh follower. Oh, that's cute. I'll be so popular now. Awesome. That's cute. That's cute. That's very cute. Ooh, I know what this guy is. <laughs> let me back, let me back my, my dick up. I mean, my butt up. Oh, yeah. I can't stop watching Netflix. Please help me. Uh, wait, no, don't turn off the TV just yet. Oh, uh, I just want to keep watching Twilight. Oh, uh, Supernatural. Or the next Daredevil episode. Oh, oh. Dracula has to- Oh, is this the- Oh, this is the big man himself. No, he's gonna eat me, isn't he? No. No, don't eat me, boss. Please. I can't- I can't. <laughs> oh. It's you. I'm, tr I'm trying to give him a very distinguished voice. <clears throat> oh. It's you. Now I'm just gonna give him a direct voice. Fuck it, I'm not- I don't wanna give him an old man voice that sounds like they're having a hernia or they have hemorrhoids or something. You're the new therapist. Am I correct? I... I am Lord Dracula! Fear me! Ah, uh, it's... It's just not the same anymore. I used to fill people with dread just by thinking about their mothers. <laughs> cause, cause you know, I just, I just, uh, back then, I just impregnated so much. Oh god. <laughs> My seed went everywhere though. Whee! Like a fire hose. But these days, but, <clears throat> but these days, nothing seems to scare people anymore. Everyone is so busy with the economy or whatever. They don't even notice when you swoop in and steal their souls. Hey dude, we, we millennials don't even have souls though. After which, they post a pic of the bite marks on social media and get more likes than I do. I don't even care about that stuff. Somehow it just feels like they're more accomplished with that than I did in my 1000 year reign of terror. I built this business with my own claws. You know, I started out no one was terrorizing peasants like I did. Even when they sent mobs to burn me, I didn't give up. Yes, I never gave up. And I won't give up now because times are grim. I'll teach people what it means to be truly scared. Dude, just fu Dude, all you have to do, grab their phones. People will fucking freak out, dude. Telling you, do that and you'll be successful. That's all you have to do. Scare them like that? Fuck. The millennials, grandpas, any of them. Well, I, old people, old people a little harder. I mean, all you have to do is be like, ooh, I shat out, I shat on the cross or something. And they'll, they'll be spooked then, old people. But, uh, I'll, uh, yeah, scary. Ooh, the laugh in the face of the work of deadliness and social anxiety. When I'm done with them, I cry the whole night when I should have been out there haunting the nightmare of mortals. I will go and strike fear into their hearts. Yes. Thank you, small bat. Nice tie, by the way. You truly helped me understand my true self. Now it's time to... Wait, is that the sun? <laughs> no! Dad! Daddy! Dad! <laughs> no! He's dead now. What? What? Wow, oh, no! Dad! Dad! Dad's gone now. Oh no, no, fuck you, man. Huh, oh, guys? I guess I fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Guys, I guess that was a No! No! I said fuck off. I said fuck it off. No! <laughs> I want to do my outro. Oh. And also I want to check these rooms real quick. <laughs> Cuz there was the people here. Oh, I'll just slide these. Oh, there was a lot. There was a lot here that I missed. No. What? Hello. Apparently everyone expects me to cook for them every night. 
I've been working on up to feed you all here right now. And people, all you ever complained that the food tastes like cobwebs. Well, sorry. Sorry, not sorry. I never wanted to be a cook in the first place. It was just right after high school. Dad told me to <laughs> Fuck, dude. Dude, slow down. Hey, man. I understand. <laughs> Hold on. You're going to mile a minute. Let's, let's see. He just wanted me to be. Oh. Oh, man. You ruined the gag. You're supposed to keep talking and talking. Well, go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself, bro. Oh, there was- I'm in love with the reverse mermaid. It's complicated. Long distance relationship. She lives in the city and my parents don't like her. Just cause she's reversed. They say it's only a phase, but I truly love her. I, dude, I don't- Do you even love yourself? Like, what the fuck are you? You're just like- Like a bag of goob gob. Oh, spaghetti -o. No, spaghetti -os. No, I know, I know, it hurts, all the pain, the pain of not being loved, we all know it too well, I'll come in your mouth if you, if you'll shut up, oh, good, there you go, nice little treat, that can't be beat, mm-hmm, oh yes, hello, is anyone over here, oh, shit, what the fuck, do you think we have enough cobwebs here? I want this place to look its worst when Uncle <coughs> Dragon enters his chambers. Looks oh, hey, baby, you got you got dicks for days. I recently found out that I'm more closely related to a pineapple than to a human being. Mom was weird that way, but I loved her. <laughs> wait, so wait, hold on. Did your so you are you telling me your mom fucked a pineapple? <laughs> what about the grapefruit, huh? Peace, <laughs> peace, my dude. Peace, hey, dude. I mean that must have been hard on you. Not really worried about applicants, monsters, and moving into a country from places I've never been in my life. Oh no, 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 no! What are you saying? And now some cat girls from China are stealing our jobs. Not my jobs, of course. No foreigner would be qualified for this kind of job. In fact, they're stealing the jobs that no one wants to do anymore. Good joke, guys. I, I like this. Oh, jeez. I'm in big trouble now. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. What happened? I I forgot to pay my taxes for a bit. Maybe like 20 years. Oh, far. 20 years ago. How did this happen? I never meant for it to go this far. It'll be fine. There will be a fine. You are fine today. <laughs> I'm sensing a pattern here. It will be fine. Maybe you're right. What's the worst that could happen, right? Kill me now, please. Well, I, I could. Make it easy. Just, just snap your neck. Oh, see, you definitely look like an Undertale ripoff. Holy fuck, there's so much more of this game. I can't, I can't do this. It's a construction, dude. I'm expanding the castle. Cool, right? My great gramps built part of this castle a couple years back ago. Not at all by himself, though. He was just a grumpy construction manager employing a bunch of vamp workers. They tried. They fired those bloodsuckers when the stock market crashed, though. So I'm not the only one left here to carve out these pretty corridors. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, dude. Rad. Oh. <laughs> okay, we got pineapple mom fucker there. Ooh, look at that moon. Holy shit, that's a spooky ghost dog. Oh, where the fuck am I? What the fuck? Hello? Where? Oh, it's you. Oh, I could have came up here all along. Hey, dog. Can you believe this? I get no Wi-Fi reception in, on the toilet. Or, wait, are you on the toilet right now? And now the aircon in the North Towers broke last week? If I was paying rent, I would complain to the landlord. Aren't you going to talk to Lord Dracula later? Can you mention these... Pressing issues, please. Don't tell my complaint, though. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Dog, I definitely will not mention your name. What's your name? A uh, weird, weird guy standing upside down, man. Yeah, definitely won't mention your name, bro. Ah, see, this is another Undertale ripoff. That's Alphys right there. Oh, God, Alphys. Let yourself go, honey. I feel like my friends never spend time with me anymore. I don't have... Ooh, to take care of I'm all alone, you know. I'm one hundred fuck. And still living in my mother's graveyard. But at least I don't have any children I need to feed. Hey, thanks for chatting with me. I feel less lonely now. No problem. It's a job with the therapist. I really like this ghost. He's cute. 
I know he's not happy, but he's cute. Oh god. <laughs> Holy shit, this is the second this is pretty much the second complaint. Oh god, the cell phone reception in this graveyard is fucking horrible. I mean, come on. It's current year. <laughs> it's current year, huh? Hmm. See this I I feel I feel like me and these developers we could get along very well because I'm playing this in 2018 when this was made in 2016. See, they didn't they didn't want to date their game. That's what it was. But too late, you dated it by making it a jam game. After all, am I right? I didn't get killed by internet trolls just to spend an eternity in the world's shittiest coverage. I should find a nice place to haunt. That'd be a nice change of pace. Maybe somewhere sunny and warm. I'll be the ghost of Miami Beach. That's a Goosebump story, isn't it? That that sounds like it would be. The goose, the the Goosebumps, the ghost of Miami Beach. Turns out the ghost of Miami Beach was actually a reflection of the light, and it actually wasn't a ghost at all. <laughs> and the kids were making it up, and it was all in their imagination, because they felt guilty about fucking their sister. <laughs> Goosebumps, <laughs> spooky, spooky incest. Okay, I think I can. Can I go now? <laughs> I think I've talked to everybody. I should have talked to everybody, and that means I can actually do the outro. Mmm, mmm, daddy, mmm, mmm. Hit me harder, daddy. Oh, bang, 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 bang. Hey, dad. <laughs> I like how I bounced up. <laughs> That was pretty, they're pretty hot. It was like a quick little boner. Okay. Oh, stop talking. Yeah, yeah, dad. Oh, life's hard. Oh, those millennials in their kale. Oh, those millennials in their, their fucking superfoods. What about the old days when we used to work fucking for 18 hours? I miss the old days when times were rougher. I miss the old days when we couldn't call people from 5,000 miles away without it costing $8 billion. I miss the old days where fucking Coke, two Cokes cost me my whole week's salary. I miss that shit. Oh, I miss the old days where the blacks used to be. No, no. <laughs> no, thank, thank you. Thank you, Dracula. <laughs> thank you. Well... Okay. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. It doesn't even stay. It doesn't even stay there. Anyways, guys. This was... Wow, this was coughing counseling. I thought that for a jam game, it was... I don't know how long... Oh, shit. God damn it. I'm just gonna have to put an overlay on the screen. How long was this jam? Oh, it's a month long. So, admittedly, I can see why they put so much goddamn effort into it. And, in my opinion... It it fucking pull <laughs> by the way the url for this game is man bat which is weird <laughs> i'm pretty sure that's a thing i forget what it is uh but anyways the the dedication or the amount of detail in this game is very phenomenal and when i said it reminded me of undertale i didn't mean it in any bad way rather i meant it in an extremely good way the monsters all felt unique and interesting to interact with they all had different personalities they were either parodies or they had a quite an interesting view on life or quite just interesting things to say in general i do wish that the game itself did kind of rely more more on this you're a, uh, sorry, I'm, I'm snapping my fingers, like, like, uh, I'm, I'm cracking them, uh, but anyways, I really wish that the game did rely on the therapy or choice mechanic a lot more, and that did something or had some kind of effect, but that's about it, like, I really think that this could be an interesting type of title or interesting type of game to make, I've always been interested in seeing how people can make a very dynamic and intriguing choice system where choices actually matter and no telltale bullshit no offense to them but it, it's just one of those things where i think having more feedback would have been uh, would have been quite appreciated like more feedback on the world if that makes sense like if my interactions actually did matter and they did to an extent but i mean only to that conversation and then you just move on to the next person like 
for example, I made the one long like lady a little mad, and that that was it. That was there's nothing else to that story. It like if this game was expanded to something bigger, maybe like in a further day, she she's pissed at you and. And so she starts telling lies about you, so you'll start losing clients or something, or people start hating you. That, that'd be cool. That'd be cool, in my opinion. But anyways, guys, for a jam game, this is wonderful, and I enjoyed this a lot, and I hope you guys did too. So, that was Coffin Counseling. Tell me what you guys think about Coffin Counseling in the description below. Also, check out the individuals that made the game. They're pretty cool individuals. I'm, I liked every single bit of this game. It was awesome. Thank you guys for making this game. Again, tell me what you guys think about this game in the comment section below. I love you guys sincerely. This was under here. And I'll see you, sexy, later. Bye bye.